Well, we're joined now by CBC News medical contributor Dr. Peter Lin to give us some more insight on this virus. You, you know, I, I always have difficulty with these stories. I know you do too, because you don't want to scare people. Right. But already in numbers in Africa this time around, we've never seen numbers like this for Ebola in the past, well into the hundreds now. How deadly, how worried should we be about this? The usual answer is we shouldn't be too worried here in Canada because it's in Africa and so on and so forth. And it kills about 50 to 90 percent, which sadly means that people cannot transmit the virus because it burns itself out. The host dies. And normally we would say there's no risk to us. But then all of a sudden we had that one fellow that got into a plane and then flew to Nigeria. And so now all of a sudden, if you get onto a plane, now you can transmit that. Now the good news is that it's not like the flu, where if you sit next to the person and they cough in your face, you'll get it. It's not like that kind of transmission. It's blood or body fluids. And so therefore the transmission on the plane isn't such a big deal, but now we've imported the virus into another country. And so that's why we have to pay attention. Now in Canada, we're still okay. We don't have any viruses here, but it's just something to be aware of when people are returning from those regions. And you also have this problem with the incubation period, it's so long. Right, so in other words, up to three weeks, you will still feel fine. And so therefore you can carry the virus and have no symptoms. So therefore, even if I checked you on the plane and you look perfectly healthy, you now come back home and two or three weeks later, you start getting a cough like a flu and then all of a sudden you get sick. So therefore we have to pay attention. And in fact, after Ebola, so let's say you get better from it, there's still about seven weeks where you could still have the virus within your body and carrying it around. So that's why there's a, there's a window where you could still be infectious to other people. Why is this virus so deadly? Yeah, it's an interesting virus. So the way it works is that it lives in fruit bats and they live happily together. And then the fruit bat gives it to chimpanzees and gorillas and those kinds of things, these animals. And then now the hunters go out and they get into contact with these animals. So they get the blood products and things like that. And now it goes into people. And when the virus goes into people, all the virus wants to do is make copies of itself. It has no machinery, so it borrows our machinery. So it goes into cells like our liver cells, into our blood vessel cells, and into our immune system. So the immune cells that are meant to kill them off, they actually infect them, make copies of themselves, fill it all up, and then it explodes. And when it explodes, it kills your immune cells. So your very defenses that are supposed to get rid of them have now been wiped out. And that's why the death rate is so high. Now the good news, no weird viruses like that here in Canada. And so therefore, I think we just have to pay attention to people coming back from those regions over that three week period, just make sure if they get sick, those are the ones that we're looking out for. And all the doctors are asking, where have you traveled? All that kind of thing, especially with the flu symptoms. We'll leave it at that for tonight. Thanks, Dr. Lynn. Thanks, Peter.